Dalton's Atomic Model by kscience.com 2,500 years ago, in ancient Greece, there was a philosopher called Democritus, and he was famous for coming up with the first atomic theory. Democritus was the first to say, everything is made of atomos. This means atom in Greek. Democritus knew if a stone was cut in half, the two halves would have the same properties as the whole stone originally. If these stones were then cut in half, and then cut in half again, they would still have the same properties as the original whole stone. And if you keep on splitting these in half, eventually, Democritus believed you'd get to something so small that could not be split in half any longer, and he believed this was the atom. Democritus believed nothing is smaller than the atom. Considering this was 2,500 years ago, he was way ahead of his time, and because there was no technology to prove him right or wrong, this was just an idea. Moving on to the 1800s, there was an English scientist called John Dalton. He had many ideas about the atom, proved by experiments at the time, and he came up with Dalton's atomic theory. In this theory, Dalton said, all substances are made of atoms, and these are tiny, hard, indestructible spheres. Dalton believed atoms may have looked something like this, similar to snooker balls, due to how hard and spherical snooker balls are. In Dalton's atomic theory, he said atoms were tiny, hard, spheres, and could not be broken down into anything smaller. Dalton was right that they were tiny. However, he was wrong that they were hard, he was wrong that they were spherical, and he was wrong that they could not be broken down into anything smaller. As we know, atoms are made of neutrons, protons, and electrons. He also said, Atoms cannot be created or destroyed as they are indestructible. Dalton was correct that atoms cannot be created or destroyed. However, he was wrong that they are indestructible as nuclear reactions such as nuclear fusion and nuclear fission can break down or build up atoms into different elements. And finally, he described an element as a substance which has identical atoms, which he was correct about. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.